One day, I woke up with the goal. I wanted to create the hardest escape room imaginable and force other content creators to suffer, uh, I mean, attempt to solve it. The human mind is at its most volatile when it's in a competitive environment. So naturally, I created two teams of four who would attempt to solve the room. Team A features Rubber Ross, Jaden Animations, Point Crow, and The Odd Ones Out. Team B features Gerard the Completionist, Avali May, CJ, and the fastest growing streamer on Twitch, Ludwig Ogren, who unfortunately canceled at the last minute, which is fine, since my good friend Anthpo flew across the country just so he could be the shining star of Team B. We worked with the local escape room company who helped us create this masterpiece of a room, and I'll let the room designer himself Wade, show you just how to escape. And once they open this up, there is a trap door. I wanted to design it as much as possible where like, there's literally so many things. And on the back you have uh, one half of a note that you really cannot get anything from. <laughs> Even I was like, I don't think I'll, I would be able to figure this out. So then there's a oh decoder. My God. <laughs> there's a decoder no. hidden somewhere in these pieces of paper. I don't think they're getting here. And oh, this makes okay. me really sad. So then I wrote just a bunch of random numbers on here. <laughs> At this point, you're probably thinking, wow, this seems impossible to solve. And you would be right. It is impossible. The first room is simple just to build their egos up, but every clue in the central room is a red herring that leads to nothing, but looks as if it goes with everything. This room is certifiably unsolvable. But at this point, wouldn't most people expect exactly this from me? Especially my close friends and colleagues? So that's why I told half of them. Team A is fully aware that this is staged. So if I let them appear victorious by solving the room, that'll be all the confidence Team B needs to believe in the best of me. By turning this into a competitive event, they will not suspect a thing. All I need is for them to get tunnel vision on the competition as I simply watch from the sidelines. But first, Team A needed to do their part. So there's not really a lot to say about this since, you know, they know. And we're just gonna let them sit there for about 58 minutes to make it look real believable. After showing Team A the room, I reminded them that they are unfortunately trapped in this hellhole, but luckily we had a specialist who was there to help them escape, which is a luxury that not everyone else has. Do you feel like you're torturing your friends? Yeah. And it's fun. And since they are going to be trapped in here for a while, I thought we should do something fun to pass the time. Oh, yes. I don't have a manga song. Let me download it. <laughs> I love hearing it in real life. Yeah. One fatal mistake I made while playing was that I did not turn the volume on my phone to mute. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, would you love that? Someone died. Whoa. It's, it's Ross. I think it came from over here, so I think it's Ross. It's probably me, yeah. yeah it's probably Ross. It's probably me. I feel like I'm being lied to. Uh, got him. Okay, eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure everyone's completing your tasks, even you know, if you're dead. Man, I sure hope no one comes out of the electrical vent right now. Yes! It was me! Oh, <laughs> I had a very busy day of deceiving several other people, so I could only stay and play for a couple more games. Okay, fine, another 30 minutes. We told Team A to come out around the 57, 58 minute mark, because that feels believable, right? Should we, like, we go out there? Should we be like, oh, oh, yes, we did it! So knowing that this place had thin walls, I asked Team A to sing Country Roads anyways, just so the other teams would hear it and make everything else feel more believable. Country Roads, take me home! And now that they're at the final stretch, they should complete the escape room any second now. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! Yes! Woo! And just like that, the unsolvable escape room suddenly seems solvable. Team A has done their job, and now they just have to sit back and relax as we get ready for Team B to take the stage. Featuring CJ, Ovely, Gerard the Completionist, and Antpo. Team B was already much more unified than expected, mainly because they had a team name. Team B? Oh, you changed it. Like and subscribe. You know what, I didn't put them up to this, but that is a good idea for you to subscribe. 
Chilling aside, I read them the lore of the room, which for some reason was obscenely violent, but I think it's fitting for an unsolvable room and a very optimistic team. Like and subscribe! Alright. You're welcome, Editing Jacob. Thanks, man. Team B was actually doing a very good job storming through the first room, but that's because they were supposed to. But to make sure that they didn't do too well. There's a plant in Team B. CJ knows the truth, and he is only here to sabotage all of Team B. <laughs> I, I can't get over the fact that Eric is making bets with these people. So let's go back in time a little bit before Team A even saw the room. Point Crow, knowing that he was on a team with a guaranteed victory, made a bet with an unsuspecting and optimistic Anthpo, where the winner gets to post whatever they want on the loser's social media. And these are the faces of three people who knew too much. And I was shocked to find out that the tweet wasn't even that bad. Honestly, kind of a banger. Are you seriously already stuck? LMAO. Is it, is it? <laughs> no, we're not stuck. We're just joking. We're joking. Yeah, we are stuck. Moments later. Do you want me to make a community post? Is this what you want? <laughs> it's my life on the line here. It's my livelihood. It's my job. It eventually became boring watching them suffer in the easy room, so I just gave them the code so they could move on to the funny one. After unlocking the jail cell, the next couple puzzles were relatively easy. As long as they could get everyone into the other room, that is. I know that CJ's the plan. Yeah. But it really feels like he's just genuinely curious and looking around. He. I think he's forgotten. Is that not it? Well, I'm surprised. Really? Like, they're looking at the wrong head. It's this head that they gotta be looking at. I know they're only in here for an hour, but to me, the beauty of an escape room is that it's a matter of time until everyone goes insane. What is up, YouTube? I'm coming at you live from this escape room in California. And given that they're 20 minutes in and they haven't even made it into the second room yet... Give us a hint! And then I gave him a hint that got one person into the next room. There was no escape room. We were actually tasked for assassinating CJ. Okay, so they're past the second challenge and they're two clues out. Are you okay? Yeah, I just don't know what to do. Oh, fuck. It opened. Oh, yay! Yeah, open it! Unlock it! Uh... Oh, fuck. Can I open this? Did we send only him over to solve oh, the puzzle? God. Oh, God. Figure it out! Come on, you got it! You got it! You got it! You got it. They were at least getting into the room. Yeah. Which, that's all I was scared of. They didn't really have to send anyone else in, but at this point, it was really just about what made them feel better. Okay, so I just have to find a key for you guys. One sec. Should I just come through too? Yeah, yeah, do it if you can. With almost their entire team conquering the first room, Anthpo and others just turned it upside down while Gerard waited. That is, until he grew tired of the rest of his team's incompetence. And in true comedic fashion, as soon as Gerard got through, they unlocked the door. <laughs> he found it as soon as he went through. <laughs> Gerard, I got the door open. Oh, what the hell? You can come on through if you're ready. <laughs> That's comedy right there. So given that they didn't have any direction, mainly because there wasn't any, they just decided to grab everything in the room and try to make it out as a clue. Where, where's where's the keys in this room? Hold oh, on, no, no, this is it. White, blue, green, yellow. All the clothes are here, aren't they? And I admit, it does make it a little harder when everything in the room does look like a clue. Yo, who did Alpharad pay to design this? And then everyone just wandered around aimlessly for a little bit as Ovilee May spent about, ah, uh, 10 minutes trying to brute force through a simple three-digit lock. Do we look in here? And as a reminder, these puzzles do have solutions. We're just not being very helpful. But for what it's worth, they were really good at solving the actual puzzles. It was, hey, 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 watch the camera. And at this point, you're probably asking, oh my God, Alpharad, do you feel bad for what you're doing to your friends? And like, <laughs> no, this just feels like I'm playing a game of The Sims. Give us our last clue, we need it so bad. The beauty of the human ego is that if my hint tells them to explore a place that they've already explored, dead man's vision. We already knew that. We already looked at the vision of the dead man. We already got those two. They will out. simply not believe me. And then eventually, Ovily brute forces her way again. I hate you. Thank you. <laughs> I think I'm scared now. So remember when I told you Ovilee spent 10 minutes on a backpack? Yeah, I tried just about every six combination. But what's crazy to me is that she's actually already put in the right code, and I don't know what went wrong. Here, audience, what does this say? Oh, that's right. You don't know. 
Because I don't know either. And after a while, I started to feel bad that she kept putting in the same codes. So we just told her what the right code was. We did 964. It's 946. The code's 946. Oh, it's fucking open. 964. We tried that. We... Yo, you got footage of us doing that for fucking 10 minutes, my yeah. dude. You did everything but that. No way. I, I, I personally did that I earlier. Did I did it. You did it too. The next clue required them to go through small and individual cuts of paper. Oh, wow, this... you're ass, man. Yeah, you're all so ass. Here. And yes. This one was meant to be torture. A whole five minutes later, they finally found the code that opened the box, which inside... Okay, it says, Dwight's radio is broken, sing, sing for me, I'll, I'll give, give you a clue. clue. Country roads, take me home to the place I belong. Since they were all looking away from the screen while singing, I decided to take this opportunity to make their time go by even faster. Country roads. Yeah, yeah, see? Now it's going by faster. No one's gonna notice. Yay! Yay! Is this how you get your sick twist? I can't believe Anpo flew from Jersey just to get fucked with. Here. You're getting your sick kicks on. Your sick kicks. Look I'm at you. still so upset you about what? that damn lock. You saw me. You saw me. Please, Please do not harass our cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell me what to do. To your hair fun. looks too good. Okay, and I guess that, that was the final straw for our beloved cameraman Thomas, because after that comment, uh, he just he just kind of left. He's leaving. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. You asked for a bit. Will you go tell Thomas to go back inside? And now we are reaching the point where everyone started to snap. Unaware of where to go next, CJ started singing "Country Roads" again. West Virginia, country mama. Come on, Dwight, you know you want to give us another hint. And if you're unaware, Dwight is the fictional name of the person who owns this fictional cabin, and I don't know if CJ realizes that he's not real. If you want to make this video a little bit juicier, down to the wire type thing, I mean, I think it'd be pretty interesting. We are, we're team like and subscribe. Yeah. I mean, think about how much you're going to gain from us being in the game uh, a little more. Oh, God, it's not working. Dwight, here, do you want me to... You like that, Dwight? Give us a hand. I do. I don't know if I do that. Walk through the door. Walk through the door. Let's see what happens. We'll see what happens. Come on. All right, I'll believe I will make you a batch of my special diabetes brownies. What okay? is that? They're really good brownies. The brownies, <laughs> and then on top of it is like a peanut butter chocolate mixture right here. Bro, this puzzle's jank. This sucks. I figured it out better than you made it. On my way. Like so I think you're starting to see the negative repercussions of throwing someone in an impossible scenario. And believe it or not, it was at this moment where I had the realization, do I need to consult an ethics board for my next video? I think she's trying to bargain with Thomas now. <laughs> she's try they're trying to pry the yeah. cinematographer now. That's what I was saying. Yeah. Look at him! Oh <laughs> you come out of your next shift, Green, you got like a nice... Burger King. <laughs> Burger King, oh, sold, sold. Um, I was gonna say Chick-fil-A, but like in today's in day and age, you don't know, <laughs> in and out like. What's your, what's your jam? It's not fair, I'm 19, I'm basically a minor. You are torturing me. You're torturing me. Yeah, He's it. half right. Hear me out. Let us out of this room, I'll solve the next room in three minutes. Oh. I promise you. Well, She's <laughs> trying to block <laughs> <take> the door. <laughs> They can't see what's happening anymore. What a bummer. Tell us. Stop recording. Tell us. Tell us. They can't see us anymore. And after all of the theatrics they've thrown at us, I just wanted them to get out of the room, so I told them to press the green emergency only button next to the door, and I just acted as if it was intentional. We really just made this up on the spot. I hate this escape room. I'm so upset. There's a, okay, there's a rabbit. Well, it's pretty much over. No, we can do this. And if you remember from earlier, this is the end of the escape room. So that's why I got them here with only 60 seconds remaining. Go! Escape for all of us! You can do it! You can do it! You got it! You got it! Go, 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 go! Go, open the door! Open the door! It's locked! What do you mean it's locked? Open the door! I said, wait, I kind of want to watch him try to figure this one out. I kind of want to see what it is. You can with the safety waivers. Yeah. Guys, what do I do? Gerard, keep an eye on there, on that door. I'm gonna hold this what close. What do you mean? Is he, is he coming through? If Dwight's uncle's sister isn't his aunt. And at this point, they're long overdue on time. Brother? 
They are about two minutes over the hour, and they know that. They are just trying to see if they can get out for their own pride's sake. Just give them a fucking word to put in. Oh, it's a person? Yes. You oh. didn't make it. I'm well, so sorry. Yeah. That was a good attempt. What was that? What was that? that? Okay, listen, we're going to need to have some choice. Can you, like, walk it right? You never, you never in an escape room put something with a timed relock thing in it. Never, okay? It's like the golden rule. I right? remember. Oh, remember. Okay. You misspelled 10 minutes. Okay, now, hold on. You, hold you on. misspelled 10 minutes. Hold on. Hold on. Did you see how good we did? Oh, you didn't see. We finished in 10 minutes. So, what did we learn today? that even if people are put into an impossible scenario, they will always do their best to come out on top. The interesting thing about the human race is that they will always believe in the best possible outcome. In their minds, a better life always exists, and I find that beautiful. So beautiful that if these four beautiful people didn't give me the content I needed, I may or may not have made a Team C just as backup. And both experiments went about the same. So, you're probably wondering when I told them it was unsolvable. Yeah. Never! <laughs> That's not part of the experiment. But I felt like I had to commit to this whole competitive event type deal, so I got trophies and awarded real medals for the real winners. And if you are on Team B or Team C, and you're watching this for the first time and realizing that it was unsolvable all along, I'm not sorry. I will not apologize, and I will do it again. Subscribe for more!